Hello everyone and welcome. I recently visited Austria on a short five day trip doing a popular tourist route from Vienna to Salzburg plus a day trip to Hausstadt. This video is part of a six video series detailing my trip. You can check out those videos by visiting my Austria playlist. In that playlist are some vlog style videos, but if you're planning your trip and you just want the goddamn information you need without watching some annoying YouTuber talking to the camera for 20 minutes, this is the video for you. So let's get straight into it. Now, if you're visiting Hausstadt from Salzburg on a day trip, you'll find there are a number of ways to get there. Three buses, a train, plus other options such as renting a car, driving yourself, or taking a guided tour. But this video focuses solely on the bus option, which in reality is the cheapest. Please note that this video is purely based on my own experience in January 2020. By the time you watch this video, prices etc. may have changed. Buses to Hausstadt leave from Salzburg Hauptbahnhof, which is the main train station. There is no direct route to Hausstadt. Head to bus stand number six. The first bus you need is bus 150 to a place called Bad Ischl. I downloaded this really useful PDF bus timetable to my phone. The link to this is in the description. The first bus leaves at 5.55 a.m. Monday to Saturday. However, this is considerably later on Sundays when the first bus leaves at 7.15. On weekdays, the last bus arrives back at Salzburg Hauptbahnhof at 20.52. Now, fortunately, I can speak German, kind of. However, if you don't, don't worry. As for me, all the bus drivers spoke English. Remember, they're used to having tourists on a daily basis. This is the important bit. A return trip to Bad Ischl returning on the same day costs 22 euros. Note that this cost only covers you to Bad Ischl, not all the way to Hallstatt. The bus journey to Bad Ischl takes around one hour, 30 minutes. To be honest, I wasn't really taking much notice. Once you get to Bad Ischl, you need to change to the 542 bus. It will probably be there waiting for you in one of the other stands. The 542's final destination is Gozal Z, but you don't want to go there. Tell the driver you're going to Hallstatt and he will helpfully tell you which stop you need to get off at. Now, for the remainder of your journey, you need to pay for a one-way ticket, which covers both the 542 to the bus stop at Hallstatt Gozal Müller and the 543 from there to Hallstatt. The cost of this ticket is five euros 80 one way. So let's do some maths, all right? 22 plus 580 plus 580. The entire journey is gonna cost you 33 euros 60. The journey to the next bus stop takes around 20 minutes. If you wanna to go to Gozal Z or the Panorama Zvizalam Ski Resort, God, that was a mouthful, for a walk around in the snow or go to the lake, the total cost of this ticket is seven euro seventy note that if you do this in the winter you may have to get off the bus early and walk the rest of the way due to snow which is what i did from the hausstadt gozal Müller bus stop jump on the 543 bus showing the ticket you bought on the last bus and in about five to ten minutes you'll arrive in hausstadt simple right when you get there take a note of when the return buses leave there can be large gaps between buses meaning if you miss one You'll have to wait around for bloody ages. And just a few last notes. There is an ATM at the shop over the road, but don't use it as it charges about six euros per cash withdrawal. Ridiculous, right? There is one further up towards the market square that didn't charge me anything. Obviously it does depend on your own bank. Plus, even though I forgot to take some shots of it, there is a tourist information place close to the bus stop. You can't miss it. So I hope you found this useful. The next video is a similar one, but more about my experience of how I got around Austria on the train. Brilliant. Have fun and I'll catch you later.